Hello! So this video is, is a bit different, I haven't done a video like this in a hot minute, but it's kind of like a tutorial type of thing uh, to help you run TF2 on your machine. So I'm going to be creating my own config to, to play TF2 in the uh, in the way I want. So we're on cfg.tf, config.tf, and uh, what this does is it has a for configs for you to choose from and you can edit them to uh, suit you and suit your PC. So that's what we're going to do right here. So this is the graphic config, it's probably the most important thing that um, matters when coming to running TF2 on your PC. Now this game was made in 2007, so any modern machine should be able to run this game pretty well. But if your computer is struggling, there are these uh, master configs. So we've got master config, we've got Comanglia's configs, we've got Rhapsody. Um, I personally just went for Comanglia Cinema. As this is the best TF2 can look. But obviously, if you want to check out other ones, you've got like Master Config Max Quality, and that just shows you what it looks like. TF2 obviously is an old game, so it's max quality. Still looks pretty dated, but uh, that's what I'm going to be going with for the base. You need a high spec PC to run this. I do. It shows you like the pros and cons of each config. So, say, if you focus more on uh, graphics, and you want good graphics, then this is the one for you. But if you, if you don't, if you want to run the game then you download the toaster config which is the one I used in my lowest settings video go check that out if you haven't already it shows you look max fps minimizes the visual clutter the old school feeling but then minor fps and like shitty textures and stuff so we're going to be using Comanglia cinema and these are some uh, launch options I usually keep these the same but I like to have the intro video and I turn off the console because if I need it, I'll open it. It's one key, it's, it's not that hard. And then binds. So these are all the uh, binds for all the uh, weapons and stuff. Alright, I want to change my voice menus because I move them all up a key. There we go. Uh, is that everything else? This is everything I need. Fast wrap and switch, yes, yes, uh, yes. All of this, yes, um, I think. Yeah, that, that, that works for me. Tweaks. I don't know what this stuff is here. Don't know what this stuff is here. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to auto record. Actually, I'll keep auto record on because if I get like a sick kill, I might be able to use the uh, demo editor to like show different angles, which is something I wanted to do. I always want to like, up the quality of my videos, so I'm actually going to keep that on. But if you don't want, if you've got say low storage space or something, you might want to turn that off. View models. I don't want minimum view models. I want that set to 100. I mean, you can have left-handed view models. I did a video with that as well. That was pretty fun. Um, I set my view to view model FFA to 100. It, it pulls it right out, but it gives uh, it makes the screen feel less like cramped. You know, damage indicators. Yep, yeah, yeah. And then custom commands. Um, same formatting as the TF2 console. Okay, so we want to bind the the, the eight key. Bind eight. Taunt by name. Taunt Staffenfreude. Bind seven taunt by name. Oh, no capitals there. Uh. Taunt the Conga, I believe it's called. Now, you do have to have these taunts equipped, they won't just do them randomly. You do have to have them equipped on your loadout. It's not a way to get free taunts. And then I want to bind. 9 kill. Is it slash kill? Ah, oh, shit, I reloaded everything. We'll be right back. <laughs> so, uh, a quick minute or so later, after getting my things just right, uh, I've got the, the binds. I hope they um, work. <laughs> we've got a kill bind, we've got a laugh bind, and we've got a conga bind. You know, the, the only binds you really need in TF2. Alright, generate config. Boom. We want to extract two. A specific location, and that is right here. Your TF file, wherever it may be located on your computer. Mine's on the C drive, so well, it's in the basic Steam folder if you haven't changed the install directory, which is for me, it's the C drive, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF. And then you just press OK, yes to all if there's already a config in there, and uh, let's go stop TF2 and see if I've done it correctly. Yep, there's the intro vid, so that's that's still on. That's a, that's a PogChamp moment right there. 
We're gonna chop into a casual game and see if my binds have worked. TF2 is a very versatile game, it can be run on pretty much any Windows system, I'd, I'd say. Well, ones that allow Steam to be downloaded. And we'll see if it's fixed my FOV or not, because last time I didn't, I downloaded it, I forgot to change my FOV. So, FOV is correct. Demos have started recording. My, that man is very shiny, holy shit. <laughs> Why is it so shiny? <laughs> nice. Um, seven? Okay, that bind hasn't worked, that bind hasn't worked, and that bind. So the binds haven't worked, so we're loading into 2-4 yet again. Same game I was literally just in. And uh, we're going to see if it worked. I tweaked it a bit. Eight works. That's my... That's my... Stafford Freud. Nine doesn't work. So, so far only the Stafford Freud works. Taunt by name. Taunt the Stafford Freud. Taunt by name. Taunt Conga. So that Conga should work, but my kill bind isn't working. Hmm. We're going to go to my TF folder. We're going to find the config file. Um, we're going to find my config. We're going to open with... Notepad. Okay. Aha, here we go. Here's all my binds. Lovely. Uh, where's my bind for the number 9 key? There it is. Bind 9, slot 9. Change that to kill. And get rid of that. Oh, it didn't... That's why. So we just need to... Essentially just go into the config file and change it. So this should work now. We save that. That should work. Should work. <laughs> Doesn't mean it will, but we're about to find out. So... But I did want to um, do a video just showing you my config and making it and how you can make it run any machine you may have okay we're going to a game. i could probably just load into my own server but can't really be bothered i just load into a game you know viaduct lovely map there is a tf2 video coming by the way um it was made it's been it's been recorded so it won't have this config so when i complain about my config i'm complaining about the config i'm using then not this one all right let's see yes okay conga talk works the Staffenfreude works. Could you stop capping, please? And... Oh, the nine bind isn't working. It's still got my old binds, like, we are in the beam and shit. What? <laughs> Mad, okay. Does that bind still work? I mean, we've got a kill bind that works, so I guess that's alright then, isn't it? So there. That is how you make your own custom config. Go to cfg.tf.com to create a custom config. I'll leave a link to mine in the description below. It should be a Google Drive link, so if you want to play with this exact config, you might need to have a pretty powerful PC to run it on these max settings, but that's about it. I've been over the giant tree. That has been my config, and I hope you enjoy. There's a TF2 video coming. Don't you worry your little hearts out. I've kind of been hit with a, a wave of inspiration to make TF2 content, so I hope you're looking forward to it, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.